morning everybody. Jackie, so I've got an idea. Yesterday you said to me, let's do a review or a video on the SQ7. Yeah. Alright, now why don't we do a video on the way to work? Can't. So you said to me though that you think that this is the best daily SUV. So yeah. how 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 can you say that? Back it up. What makes it the best SUV? Because you haven't got your seatbelt on, you haven't got your seatbelt on. So that's seriously one thing. No, no, seriously yeah. though. That's that's uh, one reason. I'm so away when at the, work. When the, when the boys in the back haven't got the seatbelt on, it tells you as well. All all cars do that though. So come on. Not all cars. Most cars. So it's got loads of power. It has plenty of power. I smoked one of the boys this morning on the traffic lights on the way in. Who was that? Jan and Kyle. Have you got any videos that put no, them up? No, no. They just they were just behind the lights. I don't know if Jan was trying, but he was behind Kyle. But anyway, they got smoke. We're back to the. It's got sense like automatic sensors when cars go near you. There's 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 plenty, plenty of other cars with them sort of features, but like for example, you've got daily SUVs. Range Rovers. Had a Range Rover. Audi SQ7. So you've got Audi, you've got Range Rover, you've got BMW. What had else? Had a is BMW out there? as well. Like a, it was a courtesy car. Had it for about three, four weeks. I didn't like it. Didn't like it. No. Nah. Um, Sorry, Hamid. You've got Range Rover SVRs. Bit different. When you define yeah, yeah. daily, you've got to think about. I think honestly, I think they're Posas cars. SVRs. What do you think? I would, agree. I would, I would have to agree. Ha the do there sound. Go. Callum said the on do camera. sound good. Yeah? The do sound good. Sound good. But it just defies. But I think it's all about the driver's car. I honestly believe the Audi SQ7 is more of a driver SUV than the other ones. But then you've got your petrol SUVs. <laughs> AMG stuff. I haven't had any experience. Do you know what I mean? So, it, it, but then you're, you're saying daily. Obviously, that will not be good at daily because of the petrol guzzling it. What's this like on fuel? I don't. I never check. You never really check. Never check. How often do you fill it up, would you say? I don't know, I normally get one of the boys one, to Once, two week, weeks, you don't have a rough yeah, idea? Two weeks, two, three weeks, it's hard to say. Depends how it gets used, but yeah, 150 quid to fill it up. 150 quid to fill it up, that's just say every two weeks. Maybe 300 quid a month. 300 quid a month in diesel. I would hate to know what someone with a G... Anyone who's watching who's got some sort of SUV, drop a comment below what sort of fuel money you spend in a week. Um, but I just thought it was quite an interesting one because he did say, Carl, why don't you do? You know, I've got all arms going crazy. All you know, alarm so sensors are going off. Post eggs. So you did say though, why don't well, I? By the way, Callum's just woke up. If anybody, I haven't watching. actually. I haven't. I was. I've just got out the shower. I'm actually going to get some food, and I'm picking them up on the way. Where are you going for food? I'm gonna get a sandwich. It's just Jurgen said yesterday, why don't I do a video now? Why would I do a video on the SQ7 when I know nothing about it? Just have a drive and see if you like it. No, no, there's no man to ask better than the driver, the guy who drives it every single day. I love it. Do you plan on getting rid of this anytime soon? Not yet, no. A couple of years. I might, I might get an RSQ8 after this. But then you think about the Lamborghini Urus. That's too flash. Do you know what I mean? So there is... There too is, flash it is, but it, it is too expensive. It depends so on what you... car, I don't want to get... Kind of that kind How of much level. did you pay for this brand spanking new? I think, they were, I think they're like, we paid 71. Do you know what I mean? So for 71 for a brand new. That wasn't brand new. Was it not brand new? No. It was nearly new. It was um, 20,000 miles, two year old. And you can get what? So I'm not sure what the cost brand new, so you have to put you do, you have to do your little. What research. is the cost of a new range or what cost? Just a free liter diesel. Probably 100 grand these are new. I, honestly, I don't know. I really don't know. I do like this. This is. This is i to do a Note 60 test on another day. It's very, very quick off the market. I'll tell you another car I'm, I'm impressed with an SUV is Frank Bus. Oh, the Alpha. The Alpha is yeah, like yeah, yeah. or something like that. It's quite hard to say. What are them, like 600 brake? Yeah. So, it's so, a petrol, so it's completely different yeah, again. No, you know, it's like, for your daily, your best daily driver, this is reliability, the, the classiness. I think it's a classy car. It's not like in your face look with me. It's like classy, nice. I've got to agree with you, Jack. I would say this is probably the best. So, in the comments, daily. Callum, someone said, Why do you keep calling me Jackie? Can you explain yourself. It's just a North thing. If you're up the North, you'll understand that, but if you're not up the North, then. I said it's because you're a true deep Geordie. I think that, exactly from, that. So, someone oh. says you need to actually call us by my name. JV. Yeah. It's 11.57. It's a Friday. Let's see what today brings. Tell me, I'll stop here. Shop is there. So we've got a few shops to pick. Which one are you going to? The delicatessen right in front of there. Obviously, I want to yeah, see if he's There's no way you're going to park in there, Jay. Why? No way you're going to fit in there. Alright. 
Oh, actually, I'll go in here. Oh, oh it's You bottled it. <laughs> right, let's wait for JV to get his sandwich. You Sony. <laughs> what sandwich are you getting? Ham salad. Well, so I've got your JV. Yes, I'm on yeah. my way to JM. What sort of projects we've got going on there? What sort of Lord. cars um, was in the shop? Obviously, it's the first week back, so we're just playing catch up. Uh, Jimmy's building an engine, putting some new rings in. Kyle's building some boxes. Jan's working on the white 34 project, the big restoration, uh, the restoration project. project. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Scotty's putting some turbos in the GTR. Matty's doing some general inspection and servicing. Chris is doing dyno stuff today. Um, got a SDI getting collected today, like soon. Um, Any cars being prepped? Whoever missed. Uh, Dean is working on Hammett's car mm. and Ben is doing some fabrication with Dean for Hammett's car. Mm. Um, haven't missed anybody, have I? Nope. Dale's uh, just preparing here. cars, yeah. Any, anything nah, for sale? There's a, no, this, for sale, there's cars for sale, but you have to go on the website. You, you know what we've got, we've got the Black Eagle, Red Subaru, White S203, Audi S8, um, Volvo. M5 has just come in. M5, so I've got a deposit on it, so that's sold. Oh, Sold pending. So, you heard him. We've got a gem. I'll show you what he was talking about. So, we're back at GM. Jurgen's busy in the office. Let's go and have a look around the workshop and see what the lads are up to. So, first, we've got Manny Christopher. How are you doing, brother? Oh, oh. stop your book. Put that down Good there. Good to see you. What we've got going on today. Fresh import BMW M5, getting the power on the dyno, mate. Uh, Simple as that. Simple as that, mate. V10, you've heard it. So Unbelievable. Maybe you can come back in a bit once it's strapped and get a video of it. So, obviously, this Sound is Valco. just being imported. This is what you do put the con dyno, yep. check it over, it's make sure right. it's all right, yeah, and then. Good power. How long before you do a dyno pull? 15, 20 minutes. Right, so we'll go and see what the other guy's up to, and then we'll uh, head back. Catch you for the pull. So, next, I do believe we've got Ben working on this McLaren 12. This is the most powerful and I believe the quickest McLaren 12. It's around 1000 brake horsepower. I don't know the exact figure. What I'll do is I'll pop it up, I'll go and ask Jurgen. But let's go and see what we can have a chat with Ben. Benji boy! Good afternoon, how are you doing? Just a quick word with you. So you've got the McLaren. 12C, is that what you're working on That's today? That's exactly what I'm working on indeed, right? And what is it you're doing? Are you doing some custom... I'm busy doing some line locks out at the minute, so we're going to lock the front brakes out for burnouts and tyre warming action. Warm the tyres up better, not oh, 60 yeah, sort right. of stuff. Is there anything I can show them that you're doing? Nothing really nothing, doing at the minute, just the, the line locks on and busy taking part yeah. at the minute. Are you? And Very interesting. Anything else what, you're you doing? Uh, created calibers. I forgot about the music. I'll be able to blur that out. So up next, I've got my like John hiding behind the engine somewhere. <laughs> John, let's have a quick word with you. Happy feet, how are we doing? What we're working on today? Skyline. R34, yeah. is it a GTR? <laughs> is it a GTR or is it not a GTR? Is it a GTT? I have no idea. GTR, R34, GTR, and what is it you're doing on this, John? Engine. This year? Damn, is he getting a full restoration done on it? Yep. What sort of power are we talking this engine's capable of running, do you know? Both about 700. 700 horsepower? Damn. Well, I can see he looks very busy. So, Jan, I'll let you crack on. Thank you very much for that. Let's see what else is going on. So, up next, we've got Matty. He's working on Big Daz's GTR, also known as the Dash Pump, also known as the Back to Back Racehorse King. So the 1700 brake horsepower GTR has won the GM race wars the last two times. So stay tuned for race wars this year because this is a very quick car. But I've got Matty on a knee. Let's go and have a quick chat with him, see what he's doing. So you join us with man like Matty. Yes. How are you doing, brother? Good, you. I'm, I'm, I'm very good. Good to be back. Happy birthday for yesterday. Cheers. What is it you're working on and what is it you're doing? Big Daddy's R35 today. So doing this. Just Basic service and health health check on it. Just maintenance is key when it's such a big high powered car. So just having a one tool there. And this is a very solid. expensive build as well, so yeah. it's just making sure everything's as it should be before we take it back out to where the GM race was August the 19th. Matty, 
I'll let you crack on. Thank you very much yeah. for that. Let's see what else is going on. So we're in the workshop in the back, we have man like Kyle. Yo. How you doing? How are you doing? Welcome to the vlog. So we're seeing it at Kyle today, building a gearbox up in the way, is that right? Yep. Let's have a little look, a closer look. look. What you're doing, yeah. So can you explain to us what I'm looking at, Kyle? Because I'm going to clue if I'm honest with you. <laughs> right, so this is obviously the heart of the gearbox, the gears. So it's the Munster series, so it's like the biggest gears you can get for the GTRs. So it's like a prototype one. So I'm pretty much just building it, putting the synchros in, getting everything nice and smooth, ready for, you've got your Ooh. electronic valve body and also your oil pump for your ADS and your nose cone, which they'll be going on there once I'm done. So I would imagine these are like, the gears? Yep, so reverse, these are your gear sync rows, so up right. and down. So how you select the gear, so if you go to change gear in a car, you've got to select that fork, which goes on, and then that selects your gear. Put it down like that, wow. I've never seen any of this in my life. There you go, dude, first for everything. So when you lift that up, that spins that freely. Wow, yeah, yeah, So yeah. when it's back at home, that is mint. There you go. That is mint. Wait, Kyle, thank you very much for Sorry, that. Dude. I'll let you crack on. No worries, chap. What did you say that was the new toolkit? How much was that toolkit? Three and a half grand. Three and a half grand Serious. just for that toolkit, yeah. It's wow. It's Dodson, head swap, sponsored. Oh, yes, yes. So we obviously are Dodson dealers Gearbox. and everything like yeah. that. So. so if they needed any bits for the boxes, any gears out. Kyle's your man. That's it. Boom. So I think, uh, so we've got man like Dean behind, but I, thought, I don't think you can hear us because he's got his headphones and he has, he's got a mouth full of pizza, but Dean, welcome to the vlog, enjoying your pizza eh? What is it you're working on I see ya, uh, very interesting. <laughs> oh, look at this. So Dean, what is this I'm looking at? This is Hamid's R35 GTR. Uh, Project Tango, V2. version 2. V2. And what is different to this GTR, the version 1? A lot of things. So, he's completely redone the engine. He's got a load of uh, T1 heads. Uh, he's now on a dry sump system. He has a uh, BoostLogic 1800X turbo kit. Uh, so, and he's also going for a nitrous kit. Jesus Christ. Yep, so he's going, it's going all out. All out. The, it was 2000 break before I know what was it it was at its limits wasn't it and obviously now they've rebuilt it to push it even further as well I, I've so he's told. gone for a faster spooling turbo with nitrous yeah, so it should be uh, a lot more lively bottom end so right stay tuned for this project because it's going to be a very interesting project Dean I'll let you quite on thank you very much for that Hamid I must admit I'm not a fan of the current wheel setup like look at the gap look at the gap what is going on, Hamid? What is going on, yeah? Disappointed. You're gonna ask us why? <laughs> What's that, Jackie? How many? Uh... So what time is it now? It's um, I don't know. Half two. Yeah, half two. And I still eat my sandwich because I'm very busy. And when did you pick that up? Five past twelve. Flies all over in our sandwich, is it? I had two though. <laughs> so this is me saying. Greedy bugger. So I think that's about it for today, is it, Jackie? I've got a daily daily video done. Anything else you want yeah, to add into the video? You just got to keep uh, smashing them, Callum, and. Uh, Make sure you get out of bed in the morning. Any more little plugs before you want to end the video? Like anything plugs. you got? Uh, who would you like to see on our? Who would you like to see as our first staff member Q&A? Who would you like to see? Chris, Callum, Dale. Haggy, Dale, Dale. Anybody. anybody in the workshop? Jimmy, Dean, or Jan, that, any, Scott, Matty, that we've worked with? Ben, the welder. Ben, the welder. Some interesting questions from. But anyway, who else? I haven't missed anyone. I've Romaine. Potentially, that yeah, that'd be a very good one, though, mate, yeah. actually, yeah. Well, anyway, let me know. What's going on, Yali? They've got the, they've got the, they've got the, yeah. they've got the bait in what he's got, yeah? Let's show the world. Oh, cheesy chips and popcorn chicken. Oh, <laughs> what are you, what, what you got eating in, yeah? What are you going on? Um, most of the menu, to be honest. So he's More got popcorn chicken. Popcorn chicken. Pe I thought it was a pizza. Yeah. Oh, he's got another. Oh. Well, I'll have a little bit of chicken, like, hold on. 
Tell him to his taste test. Mmm. Oh, hot. Oh, oh, hot, a little hot. Well, what else is going on in here? I think everyone's hiding. I think everybody's hiding. John R1, hiding in the corner. You got Oka's car. You got the Russian GTR, big 2000 plus horsepower GTR build. Stuart Wiggins GTR, I'm not sure what's going on with that. But as you can see, there's some badass cars in the workshop. So, we've got this GM built GTR yes. in. The GM engine, um, it, before the Christmas we removed the engine, pulled the turbos off, it sent them away to get fixed. Um, turbos have returned back to her, so we've just had to drop the engine back out, fit the turbos, it's get it ready for the dyno next week, get it back to the customer once it's all sorted. Job done. Ridiculous amount of crazy cars just in here. That's Jürgen's Lambo. 2,000 horsepower just sitting there. So, I've got a few more guys to catch up on, and I will think we'll end this video here. What are you doing? For yeah. This is the third time we've done this. <laughs> take three. The take three, come on. Let's so, on. let us see what Haggy's got going on here. Right, so, as you've seen on one of the recent YouTube videos, we've just brought in a uh, M5, which is stunning. I still kind of uh, want that car myself, I'm not going to lie. True, you just got yourself a new car. But yes, today, uh, we might have secured uh, a car Ooh. for myself, which I'm quite excited about. So, it's been in the mix for... Um, a few weeks now, so interested to see what you guys potentially think. Exciting times. It's to come. not sealed and in, in, in secured, but it's looking very positive. But there could be a very good lead on to this thing as well. So if I don't get it, there's potentially a very, very good car for somebody here. Uh, but other than that, part of our um, scheme, uh, when a car is brought in, uh, we health check it, we make sure everything's all right. Uh, and part of that deal is we service the car. As you can see here, we have all the gearbox fluids, all the filters, genuine everything from BMW. is BMW. It's got all of it. Everything, all, all of that, it. all genuine BMW. All Let's go. Haggy's a man for parts. I am indeed. Uh, but on that note as well, um, if you ever need any sort of uh, manufactured parts, uh, we can nine times out of ten beat dealer prices as well, so drop me an email. Uh, worst case scenario, give me a call as well. That's what put on there. But, all the details. But yeah, uh, this Beamer, it's awesome. Got Shut the box. <laughs>
head's face, so literally this is ready to go on a block. So, so what sort um, of engine is this? So this is a VR38 GTR, um, it's quite a highly strung one, so this has one mil oversize uh, for air valve train, dual springs, uh, titanium retainers, um, the head itself has been polished and ported, um, other than that the head's exactly as it was when it left the factory. So just all the crucial bits, all the nice bits are done just to sort of aid flow, increase power, responsiveness, drivability, just you know the overall just everything buddy. Um, so yeah, always busy. Always busy. Always you, you busy. Keeps me busy. Man. Thank you very much for that. Have a go. No, that. So that is another day in GM. A day in the life. Today is Friday, so Friday. might be going out to the town tonight. Who knows? Um, if you enjoyed today's YouTube video, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, smash the subscribe button. Drop a comment below of any sort it of videos you'd like to see. Uh, drop a comment what you think I have bought. Oh, interesting, interesting one, one eh? Is. I know a few of me potentially do know, but be interested to see what people think. It is a GDM car. I'm a GDM guy, so let's see what it is and go from there.